On the surface, the Denver Broncos look the same, but this season they have gone through a re-indoctrination period with new head coach John Ralston. Ralston believes in the emotional aspect of the game, even joins his kickoff team in the pregame huddle. The rookie head coach from Stanford is determined to build a winner on his own terms, but it is unlikely that he faced a team in college like the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings defense came out breathing fire, a direct result of the team's unsightly one and three record. They gave Fran Tarkington plenty of field position and the Minnesota offense plotted along true to form. Number 30, Bill Brown set up one touchdown and Fred Cox kicked three field goals for the 16 points. Minnesota used to be able to win with 16 points. But Denver began getting the ball to a man who was born to test tough defenses. Number 44, Floyd Little, took a flare pass 32 yards for Denver's first score, and suddenly, the fabled purple people leaders did not seem quite so invincible. Little directly challenged Minnesota's strength and came up with 100 tough yards and three touchdowns. Little's performance gave Denver the emotional edge that Ralston seeks and the Bronco defense responded. Rookie Tom Graham, number 83, picked up on Dave Osborne's error as Denver put on fourth quarter pressure. Then number 12, Charlie Johnson, added another element to the Bronco attack by passing to Rod Sherman, number 84, with time running out. Less than a minute remained when Little sliced in for his third touchdown and a 20 to 16 lead. Ralston's sky-high Broncos were sure they had just delivered Minnesota loss number four. The Vikings had only 22 seconds to score, but Fran Tarkington was finally ready with the big play everyone has been expecting from him all season. Number 84, Gene Washington, gathered in his 31-yard touchdown, and the Vikings were home free with a hairy 23-20 victory. The usually stoic Vikings knew how close they had come to total demise. But with a 2-3 record in the tough Central Division, they still have a long way to go before they're declared fit and healthy once again.